Now we've already seen our first taste of winter and we're only halfway into the first half of December. And as temperatures continue to drop, the city of Pocatello wants to remind residents about keeping walkways and roads clear. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Paul Beam spoke with the street department to find out about the dangers of throwing snow into the street. He joins us now live from the newsroom. Paul. Thanks, Matt and Marlies. City code states that property owners are responsible for cleaning off sidewalks on their property. But where you dispose of that snow is also very important, as the hazards of putting it in the road can be costly. City code states that it is illegal to move snow into the road, but you don't really think about the consequences until they happen. When it gets blown out of the travel lanes and then cars travel on top of it, it creates an obstruction in the road that can be hazardous. Uh, when it freezes and thaws and freezes and thaws and we have the compaction of the vehicles driving over, we've actually had snow plows that hit them and and basically ricochet off and hit other cars. But it is also in the city code to keep your sidewalks clean. The recommendation is to put snow on your lawn, but you can also place it on your curb line. But you should also keep an eye out for the plows, as they can make snow removal even harder. We really don't remove snow, we just displace it to the curb lines. And so if uh, you're out cleaning your driveways and there's nowhere else to put it but in the flow lines, of the curbs. Um, it's better to put it downstream of your driveway so as the plows come by it doesn't carry that snow through your driveway. And while we might not be done with snow for this year, it may be a little calmer than usual. We are in a weak El Nino year and that means drier than average conditions on the northern side of the region, but we will still see snow systems make their way through. We tend to as a whole almost always be warmer than normal as a whole, um, particularly as you go outside of the normal months. So outside of December and January, you tend to always be warmer than normal. And then January and December, obviously you can have some really cold events. That weak El Nino is the reverse pattern of what we saw in the near record breaking winter two years ago, which happened during a La Nina. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Paul Beam, KPBI News that works for you.